You're listening to The Daily Nugget, dnugget.com, for March 10th. It's Jesus Religious Sunday. I'm Andy. Jen, if you're watching the video podcast version, she just sipped from her Stanley, fake Stanley, bling tumbler. Um, Be those, jealous. It's Well, it, it's going to come in handy here in a minute. Janelle is here as well. I am not a Stanley Cup owner. So. You're not? Mm-mm. You like to hydrate, though. What is your hydration I vessel do. of choice? Oh, well, mine is... Mine's just a plain old. She's got a mason jar. Yeah. I figured it would be a camel backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I had one of those once. Oh. It wasn't big enough. And Sam's here too. <laughs> awesome producer. And Ooh. it's Jesus Religious Sunday. The Stanley Tumblr. Well, in lieu of a traditional baptismal font. <laughs> oh, boy. Elevation Church has unveiled a massive Stanley Tumblr baptismal for the cleansing of upper middle class women's sins. <laughs> what? That's not real. Get out no, of here. That's a fake You're right, news it's not story. real. It is the Babylon B, which is a mm-hmm. satire. Mm-hmm. This baptismal right. is going to do wonders for our female attendance, said Pastor Stephen Furtick. <laughs> nah. <laughs> for any women out there who have been hesitant to respond to the call of the Holy Spirit to surrender to Jesus, come be immersed in a Stanley Tumblr. Praise God and check out my sneakers. <laughs> I highly doubt that anyone yeah. from the Babylon Bee would watch this or listen to this. <laughs> but they, what do you guys do? Some, some of those articles are genius. Thank you. And it's fantastic. Because I don't think I've actually ever read an article. I just laugh at the headlines. The on articles Twitter. are grand. Like but, some of those, some of the stuff those guys write is just hilarious. Furtick expressed belief that the church's responsorship deal with Stanley could eventually extend beyond the enormous baptismal tumbler. <laughs> this is just the beginning, he said. We've got so, people working on designs for exclusive Elevation Church Stanley tumblers. Quench your thirst without quenching the Holy Spirit. Only oh, at Elevation Church. Is. But do their ironic hats fit in there when they get baptized? At right. publishing time, Furtick was still in negotiations. You know what I'm talking about? S- the hat? Oh, no. guys, come on. The basic white girl. Got the oh, the big old hat. The, the, oh. the Nash, I call it the Nash, it. Nashville hat Forget because, it. you know, I work in Christian radio and every, well, every artist, male and female, they've got the, it's, it's kind of like the new version of, uh, well, the girls have the, the flat brim kind of round, right? Mm-hmm. The guys, it's mm-hmm. more of a crocodile Dundee ish sort of <laughs> thing. I apparently have not paid attention to Christian music and. Oh, well, I mean, recently. <laughs> I mean, just like I mean the pictures, right? I mean, I, I, I see them sometimes and it's yes, they all have it's the same hat, right? It's yeah. the very wide brimmed. I don't know what the deal is, but there's there's a hat thing. Everyone's got a hat. Every, everybody's got a hat. It's it's there's I, a hat. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Do they also have a Stanley Cup? Of course. Of course. Well, trend. It's a trend. It You're is not on the trend, Janelle. You're uh, a trendsetter. No, I I don't like those hats either, Andy. I agree with you on that. I just think now it's totally unnecessary. Don't go there. Well, everything. I mean, everything that, uh, or I should say, most things that artists do is unnecessary. I I mean, I used to when I was a college student. I went to a um the Christian Music Week where all the artists would come and meet with the radio people, and I had a bit mm-hmm. uh for a video bit where it was. Artist mm-hmm. or poorly dressed, and the answer was usually both, <laughs> <laughs> or homeless. You know, it depended. But it just, you know, that's just they, they, they dress. It's almost like Hunger Games. Like you, you look at these people, you go, no one dresses like this in real life. No, I know. <laughs> like it's the true. Grammys. Did you see the stuff that people wore in the Grammys? Not that I watched mm-hmm. the Grammys, but you know all the pictures of. What they were wearing, like Miley Cyrus was wearing a, a curtain, like a like a seventies curtain, a gold curtain, and her hair was all it just it. So it was like, like a Gone with the Wind, or or was no seventies? Like, you know the bead uh, curtain. It looked music. like she was wearing a bead curtain, a golden uh, bead curtain. Uh, weird. No clue. I am not what you would call um, informed on culture. So, okay. Um, so you don't have culture. 
when you when you drag out that word, it has more emphasis. Culture. Culture. <laughs> well, what you would can't... your counselor say about that? Yeah. You're going to be unsuccessful because <laughs> you're a thief. Hold on. Uh, you, is, it, is it counselor time? <laughs> Sam? Mm. You need... Mm. Well, we'll do this together, Sam. Oddly enough, I do meet with my therapist on Thursdays. <laughs> There might be a connection. <laughs> <laughs> this is my therapy session. <laughs> there okay, was okay. Well, I don't, yeah. Back to the story. I don't believe a word of it. I think it's fake news. You think so? <laughs> yeah. Well, it is the Babylon Bee. So <laughs> there's, there's but that. but listen, listen. It if it if it just changes one life, mm-hmm. right? You know, mm-hmm. if it just changes one life. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Listen, you go to Laser Church where the quote is, do everything except sin, right? There is no, no. excuse for that. Isn't that it? What, what's, the, what's the thing? Stop. No. Anything short of sin to reach people who don't know Christ. Okay. To, do, to reach go. people no one's reaching, we'll have to do things no one's doing, but I don't yeah. see anybody doing the Stanley Cup thing Let's anytime no. soon. No. All right. No. Well, there was, okay. So Janelle Richardson of Franklin, Kentucky said, I've been hesitant to get baptized my whole life. As soon as I heard Elevation Church was installing a Stanley baptismal, I knew this was God's perfect timing. Yes, Lord. Oh, my gosh. So you're telling me that this Janelle person. <laughs> right, you're right. Right away. Suspect. Yes. Right. Because. Because. <laughs> because. No self-respecting Janelle. <laughs> My name is also Janelle. Oh, <laughs> what? what? We're and having... I am a true believer, so I cannot say is... that God spoke to her through the workings of Elevation Church in a Stanley Cup. I just don't know. This is just like this is just like the Denver uh, Revelation all over again. <laughs> Janelle, <laughs> wait a minute! Wait You're a minute. talking about me. <laughs> Oh. That wasn't me, though, by the way, just to clarify. Well, also, that Janelle is fictional. Okay, yes. good. Again, I, I just think... again, this is satire. Do you know what the Babylon Bee is, Janelle? Are you familiar? No, I don't know. Isn't I don't our read whole those podcast things. satire? With the yeah. website. They have a website. It's Chris, It's like Chris, Christian it's, version it's of Christian The Onion. It's satire. Yes, have it's you satire. Seriously, never? If she, no, if I, have, have. I know. I'm sorry. Janelle. New. I'm just, Janelle is the reason why they have to get fact checked. <laughs> uh, I don't Jan- ever go to that site, so I'm sorry, but I mean, I've I got other things to Facebook. do. <laughs> uh, to quote somebody in their podcast, Janelle seems to be uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for dragging it out. <laughs> in some circles some could say that but i think i am very relevant to today's listeners all you, 21 you are a of them. cultured vegan yeah and culture by cultured i mean the same way that yogurt is cultured i was just gonna say were you going up the cottage cheese on that one mm, cottage cheese is delicious. yeah janelle's a, little, cottage cheese? janelle's a little chunky <laughs> and, possibly and that's the nugget that's the nugget if you'd like to compare uh the rest of us uh tell us what type of food we're like we just, had, we just had an episode about not calling people fat and then no, no she's not and we no, learned say, nothing did we gentlemen i'm not we saying chunky nothing. as that's in fair. appearance I'm saying, I'm saying chunky <laughs> as in her emotional state. <laughs> what did you mean, Andy? I, I just said it. Your emotional state. You're chunky. Is that correct? If any of us here, uh, Janelle is the health guru. She's not chunky. I'm just saying sometimes. <laughs> Keep digging that hole. Buddy. I'm. This is you're okay. Doing it. You're yes. Doing it. And Andy is emotionally constipated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> And that's the nugget. (laughs) There you go. Oh, Janelle got to say it. Aww. 